2015. Both fighters got through their training camps. It shall be done. I am so excited about this fight. This is a fight that we have wanted for so long. When you're talking Joe Silva, the boss has been retired for a minute. Right. That's how long this fight. It was destined to happen. Double leg shot. Oh, ow. Slams him to the canvas with authority. Oh, he's got the knee on the belly. Could be trouble defensively. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. He bottom needs fighter to better move. move. Yeah, he's got to move, John. He's got to shrimp and try to either get up or pull his opponents back into him so he doesn't have the posture to land that big damage. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Ferguson. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Oh, nice job using his strength there. Posture up, we'll see what he can do now. He's gonna start looking to land big shots from the top. to the stand-up now, both fighters upright. All 25 total strikes have now landed for Tony Ferguson. Look at those weapons. Look at how he uses his knees to the body. Beautiful combination of punches to the head. He gets tagged again. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Under two minutes now to go in the opening round. Both fighters here continuing to try to get a more dominant position in the clinch, get fatigued in the process, I would think. It's very taxing to be chest to chest, a position we call 50-50 because nobody has the advantage. Who's going to be the one to find that one little beautiful takedown to take lane? Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. <laughs> 30 seconds now to go in round one. Trying to go... His opponent in a world of trouble. Beautiful level change. Make him think you're going low and it's a fight over the top with that beautiful overhand. Great punch. Pretty good series of knees by him. So a strong five minutes down. <laughs> Round two is here. Khabib Nurmagomedov. You ready to fight? Versus ready. El Kukui, Tony Ferguson. That's a pretty good right hand there by your teammate, Khabib Nurmagomedov. You're so worried about the wrestling that when the hands come, you're not expecting it. And Khabib lands early and he lands off. Well, you saw the tail of the tape. He has a reach advantage and made good use of it there with that punch. He comes forward with a flying knee that just missed hitting the target flush. Well, fortunate that one didn't land to the head. The hook shot blocked by Nurmagomedov. El Kuku gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Ooh. And now he's got the tie clinch. the reverberations here at the broadcast booth as he slams him down there with conviction. You should see that. The moment those two big boys hit the fat John Baker went flying. It was amazing. Where's that working man camera? Yeah, we need that working man right <laughs> now. This table is a mess. <laughs> so 42 total strikes have now landed for El Kukui, Tony Ferguson. And landing with just 39% accuracy tonight against Khabib Nurmagomedov. We have just reached the midway point of the fight. Oh, good job defensively there to block the strike by Nurmagomedov. Hey, finally gets the takedown. It wasn't for any lack of effort, but finally that shot was good enough to get his opponent down. I don't know how many times, John, I 
could have watched this guy shoot, take down the 10 foot off secured one. It's almost like out of pity, you feel good for him to finally get it done. Now what does he do with this top control? Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head like through the canvas. He's wanted to now try to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. The Kimura is not the arm. It's the shoulder pressure that usually makes you tap. Submission beautifully executed there on the ground.